Welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Rhett Nelson, and today we're discussing pop culture and how it improves your life. Pop culture impacts us daily in positive and negative ways. There is so much information and entertainment available to us at the click of a button. We've got Daniel Harmon on the phone with us. He's a pop culture expert and author of the book Super Pop Pop Culture Top Ten List to help you win at trivia, survive in the wild, and make it through the holidays. Daniel, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. So, Daniel, pop culture holds the key to improving our lives, really? Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a list in the book that I think might give a sense of how, how I'm thinking through this. Um, this particular list is, you know, just trying to get at how we celebrate Americanness. And so the list includes things like Jack London's book, Call of the Wild, uh, the book American Gods by Neil Gaiman, the rap album Illmatic from Nas, the movie RoboCop, the TV show Roseanne, and the version of the Star Spangled Banner as performed by Whitney Houston at the Super Bowl. And those are all things that I think are just fun and really, you know, yeah, just really enjoyable to consume on their own merits. They don't need to be anything more than kind of what they are. But I think thinking of them through that, looking at them through that lens of Americanness also helps to really, yeah, get us more engaged when we're watching them. So I guess my answer is it. All of our all of pop culture really has that that potential to to help us be better people if we you know just pay a little bit more attention about wh- what we will consume and what we are consuming at the moment. Daniel, if you could, what are your specific recommendations for people? We now are in the dead of summertime and people are uh, planning their summer vacations and having lots of fun activities and so forth. What are your specific recommendations for people to ensure that they get the most out of their pop culture experience? So I would say for a movie, uh, a kind of a movie that's that slipped past people, I think, to some extent uh, from the past five years or so is Adventureland, uh, the comedy starring Jesse Eisenberg from uh, The Social Network um, before The Social Network came out. But it's his summer between college and his uh, beginning his adult life. Um, It's yeah, the story of his summer at a amusement park in, I believe, Pennsylvania, and it's a really funny, really charming comedy that I would highly recommend. It's available streaming on Netflix right now. So that's a great summer movie. One of my uh, all-time favorite hot weather movies is Stray Dog by Akira Kurosawa, which I would recommend for those who are more inclined to the art house cinema. Um, if you're looking for new music, every year Slate produces a podcast called The Summer Strut playlist, which they post on Spotify, which is just a collection of great summer songs. So instead of recommending one song, I think I'd recommend you check that out. Um, and yeah, in terms of a, a summer book, uh, I think, you know, we're always looking for a great beach read in the summer. And the ultimate beach author for me right now is uh, Gillian Flynn, the author of Gone Girl. She writes pretty dark fiction, but man, are they page turners. Um, Gone Girl was, a, I think, a big hit last year, but her other two previous books are also just incredible, dark mysteries. Uh, they're, uh, one is called Dark Places, the other is Sharp Objects. Uh, they have a couple of great female characters at their center and just, yeah, the ultimate page-turning books for, for a beach, uh, especially if you're a little inclined towards darker fiction. Wow, Daniel, thank you. Very interesting insights. For our listening audience, if you'd like to learn more, you can check out zestbooks.net, or you can follow Daniel Harmon on Twitter at the other Harmon, where he gives people daily suggestions relevant to their specific problems. Daniel, thank you again for joining us today. And just as we wrap things up, what's the most important thing people need to know about pop culture? I feel like this book, or my hope is that this book will provide you with uh, encouragement to take your sort of pop cultural love interests seriously and by thinking about them yeah make them a real value addition to your life instead of just being the thing that you kind of shamefully consume on your own time i mean there are certainly i have many things that i that i consume in dark corners uh just because i feel like they're not legitimate entertainments but after writing this book i think i i found a way of of yeah by thinking about them sort of giving them a validation in my Uh, in the real world and in my own sort of self-improvement projects. Great. That's pop culture expert Daniel Harmon. If you know of a problem in your community and would like it discussed on this program, just shoot an email to Rhett, R-E-T-T, at SandHillRadio.com or give us a call at 522-1101. This has been Community Connection. I'm your host, Rhett Nelson. Thanks for listening.